And hello, everyone, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 2. I'm your host, Nick Amos Kane, and we are running through the career mode of NASCAR Heat 2 on the PlayStation 4. Um, how, where, how many damn races have we done already? We've done two races, is what we've done. Are you serious? That's right, we did two races, and then we had a hot seat uh, for the Xfinity. So now we got Martinsville and Kansas coming up. All right. Now, of course, we also did change the settings two episodes ago. These are the new settings. Of course, when we started this whole thing out, we started it right out of the box. So we did everything as it was. It was like normal, and I think it was like a 5% race and all that. We bumped everything up just one notch to be able to uh, get everything where we were. I think the only thing we didn't do is... The, is um, we didn't do the regular qualifying. We did the quick qualifying because doing the stage qualifying sucks. But other than that, everything else is like this. We're going to keep this until the end of this season. And at the end of this season, we're going to bump them up again. But let's just get into it. Why not? Uh, Martinsville. Oh, boy. Martinsville. And I didn't prepare. Damn it. Because we have also been using... And this is an interesting thing. Uh, we have also been using the setups from Knee Pit Racing. I was going to... Or Knee Pit Gaming. Sorry, I did it again. We were going to... to uh, I was going to go through and I was going to have the setups up and ready to go. But I totally forgot to have them already. So let's... Uh, Martinsville. Okay. Because he has these really amazing setups. He really, truly does. And I know I've said it before that um, there's something that he does that I can't explain. They're very, they're tight. They feel good. And, I mean, they just work. They absolutely work. So we're just going to go ahead and do this real quick. I know this seems ridiculous for me to do this while I'm on camera, but you know what? If you don't know by now at this point, this is just the way it is. I don't understand why these are all 10 and that one's 5. That's weird. Oh, that one's 5 too. I wonder if that has something to do with uh, the front right and then the, the rear left. I wonder if that has something to do with going around checking it out. Now, he does explain, if you go to his videos and... Uh, you know, listen, actually watch his videos. He does explain why he does this. He has a very, very good understanding of why these setups work the way that they do. I can't explain it. Uh, it's it's just one of those things that I don't do because I don't I don't race I don't race games like this that much. You know, I mean, I, I'm a I'm usually a Gran Turismo guy. You know, where it's just you get into the car and you just run like all hell and, you know, you don't worry about setups or anything. But he gets very technical. He gets into it. Uh, he will actually take you around on the track and, uh, you know, teach you uh, how to run the track. You know, tell tell you exactly where to where breaking points are, things like that. So if, if you need a, a really good teacher uh, in order to understand setups and how the uh, how the game works. Definitely go and check him out. Like I said, Knee Pit as in the knee K-E or K-N-E-E -E, uh, Pit Gaming. And it's not racing, it's gaming. Even though I think uh, Knee Pit Racing takes you to the same place. There's that. Like I said, we'll get one more and then we'll, uh, we'll take a practice and then we will run around. See what's up. That's it. So, we'll save that. Like I said, I don't have to worry about... Uh, make sure that's safe. I don't need to worry about... If it's actually good or not, because 9 times out of 10 it is actually good. Oh shit, that's good to know. Still there, he's outside. Because usually these feel really tight. They feel tight, they feel good. I don't ever feel like I'm about ready to go crazy, you know? Like the car is just going to completely come out from underneath me. Even though this one does feel a little 
feels a little loose on the back end. I'll, I'll be honest with you. It feels a little, uh, it feels a little bit like I'm about ready to lose it. But they are fast. And these setups are so fast. It is crazy. See, it feels just a little squirrely. But I'm okay with that. I'm uh, for right now. I'm okay with this. This is not. This is not so bad. I think I can handle this. I think I'm doing all right. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's good enough for me. So let's go ahead and uh, get to the next session, qualify, see what's up. I'm just going to use this. I am not going to worry about doing a uh, qualifying setup. I'm just doing straight, you know, straight race setup. It's not going to put me in first, and I'm okay with that. Make it more of a challenge trying to get through the <laughs> get through the pack anyways. Come on now. That was a very shitty turn. This is an even bigger shitty turn. What the hell is going on? That's it for us. That's wow. That sucked. I am very sorry. That was horrible. I did not I didn't get anything good off of that one at all. All right, well, let's do this. It's it. Okay, be smart out there. We're going green. Green flag. Outside, hold your line. Clear high, quick. I promise nothing. I promise absolutely nothing in this race. Oh, see? Like I said, I promise nothing in this race. <laughs> oh, shit. And I am having to break on this track. It's not like I can just, uh... It's not like I can just let up on the gas and then just coast through. At least not like I was in the, um... In the three-star trucks. Because I think we did come in here with, like, a three-star truck before. And I... All I had to do was just let off the gas and just coast through. But for as fast as this car is, I have got to break. Well, at least I got one spot back. All clear. Steady. See, it feels it feels good. It feels good and tight. Get out of there. And I Inside do not I do not feel like the car is driving me. You know, it, it feels like I have complete control of the car. Almost complete control of the car. Let's be honest. Almost complete control of the car. Do you ever really have complete control of any of these Almost vehicles? Anywhere. You know? Clear low. Oh, I don't want to be clear, bumping off clear. of these guys to get positions. I think that's... Uh, that's a very cheaty way of playing this game. I've seen, I've seen a couple of different guys uh, playing this on YouTube. All clear. You know, playing different games on YouTube where they will come down hard into the turn and then bump off of one of the AI cars in order to make it around the turn. I don't. I mean, if you want to do that, hey, that's that's your business. That's your right. I I can't really judge that. But for me, personally, I don't like that. I think that's cheaty. Uh, I may have done it whenever I was a kid. I may have done it whenever I was a teenager. No, I may have done it when I was an adult. Shit. But honestly, Holy I think it's... I mean, if you accidentally bump somebody, you know, you accidentally bump somebody, that's fine. I just don't think that you should go off and purposely do Stay that. Low. Stay low. Just to be able to make a turn, especially not in something like this. I mean, it, it, this would have been, it would have been like this, and it would have been Bristol where they would have done it the most. 
and again, I just, I, I think that's cheating. I just think that there's no, uh, there's no reason for that whatsoever. All right, it's time to go. What am I doing here? Am I up to 26? Am I back up to 26? I think I'm doing okay, and, and since, since I did pump up the amounts of uh, laps that we're actually doing, I don't feel no like I'm completely scared of losing the race just because I'm running out of track, even though I am running out of track right now. Um, I don't feel like it's an absolute mad dash for me to try to get up here. Look at me passing on the outside of Martinsville. God. Easy, easy. Um, that, you know what? I didn't even hit anything, and he's telling me to go easy. Unless he's complaining about me using up the tires. Still I don't even think I'm really using up the tires. Ah. Uh. Come on. Easy, easy. See, I don't. What, what's that all about? Unless he's. Are you. Are you cautioning me because there's somebody b beside me? Is. Is that what you're doing? I don't get that. Why are you telling me to go easy? All clear, driver. And I'm not. It's not like I'm bumping him or anything. I don't feel the. I don't feel the vibration of it being bumped. So I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Sometimes this game does some weird shit. Yeah. So what am I on? 14? Come on. I think we can get at least two more spots if we get this done right. As long as I don't screw up and keep hitting the yellow border down there, or the bump, whatever the hell you want to call it. Well, this outside line seems to be doing okay so far. I need to start getting closer down into the turn, though. You know what's going to be crazy is in the next season after I bump up the uh, after I bump up the settings again, I think we're going to be on legendary difficulty. Now, granted. That will probably be whenever I start looking at um, the Cup Series. And I will probably be... Well, I don't know if I'll be inside of an Xfinity car or not. But uh, I don't know if I'll be getting any uh, three-star cars or any five-star cars. You hear me? Three-star cars. Oh, shit. Okay, that was my fault. So I really, I really don't know how the next season is going to work. All right, buddy, you have got to get out of my way. I want that spot. Oh no, no, no! <sighs> Are you shitting me? I. Uh, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. That was the biggest crock of bullshit I have ever seen in my life. Good effort. It wasn't our day. I don't even I don't even have words. I don't even have words to describe what kind of bullshit that was. <laughs> I can't believe I hit the and then it thought I was going into the pits. Oh my god, that was bullshit. 29th play. At least I didn't get dead last, but still. What the fuck? Man. Son of a bitch. That was horrible. That was absolutely fucking horrible. <sighs> and it's all it was, too, is I, I just went too close to that yellow, that yellow bump, and it pulled my tires over just enough that I could not control it back out. That sucked. That sucked. Hot seat. We could use your help driving the number 98 car at Bristol. Oh my god. 
this Saturday, get a top 32 finish, and we might consider working with you in the future. $85,000, which means absolutely nothing, because money doesn't mean anything in this game. <laughs> because money doesn't mean a damn thing in this game at all. All right, let me look at Bristol here. I know, like I said, we're going to use his setups. And once we get them saved in, hopefully uh, hopefully they will hold uh, for the rest of the time that we're playing this game. Okay, now I did say before that he not only does the trucks, he does the Xfinity series, and he does the Cup series as well. So he does all of... Oh, look at that Mustang. Oh, that's amazing. That's beautiful. He does all of the, uh... <sighs> What's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of the word I'm looking for. All of the series. There you go. Took me a second to figure it out. Alright, we'll do that. That. Alright, so. That's that. And I don't know why he does the uh, the shocks the way he does. There's got to be a reason to it. Uh, it might be some. It might be some little game cheat that he has found that makes the car handle better. Hey, you know, if it is, it is. It's. You would consider that an exploit, and I consider that an exploit only in the fact that. It is the. It's an exploit of the game's physics. Because uh, you have to remember that the game world has its own physics. It has its own physics. It has its own uh, nature of reality. And that was something that the programmers put into the game. Now, I say if there is an exploit of their physics that you can use for your benefit... I don't consider that cheating, because that's something that they programmed in and they screwed up. And if, if one person can do it, any person can do it, so it's not really a, uh, I don't, I don't consider it a cheat, I really don't. That's just me, though. Now, I will bitch about the fact that somebody else may know it and I don't, but other than that, anyways, that's the setup. <laughs> That's the setup for Bristol for the Xfinity. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay. Crack myself up sometimes. See how bad I do here. Totally new, uh... Totally new series. Well, it's not bad so far. Look at this high line. Wow. I wonder if I can... I didn't even look at the... What was the star rating on this? I didn't even look. Oh, I might actually be able to get around this without breaking. Maybe right there. Oh, shit. Well, okay, if I don't hit the wall... I'm not breaking. I don't have to break at this track. This is nice. Yeah, this is nice. This is not bad at all. And like I said, his his setups, his setups are so tight, so good. I just it it is amazing to me how good these feel. And they just feel natural. It just feels like the car. The car just feels right, you know. I mean, it's better than the default setups. I mean, the default setups themselves, they even have some problems. Oh, shit. That's good enough for me. Now, we are going to uh, bash this car into submission. I know we are. So, just be prepared for it. There's going to be some beating and some banging. If 
I just quit hitting the wall, I'll be okay. Fifteenth? I don't. I, again, I don't remember what the what the rating is on a car, but fifteenth is not so bad. Uh, it's right in the thick of it, though, so this is gonna hurt. No matter what I do, this is going to hurt. That red car, the red with the yellow lettering on it, Pulp Fiction car. Flex tape. You're right. Oh my goodness! Oh, shit. look at this. Look at this. This is... Oh, shit. Got a little squirrely there. Come on, baby. Clear, clear. All right. I cannot get on the gas too much coming around here. Still a car out there. Outside, hold your line. The draft is pulling me. Oh man, the draft's pulling me. Oh shit. And that's what happens when you get on the brakes. Okay. So he has his brakes set up where they are just. All you need is a flick. Because they are very, very heavy. I forgot how. I think we went from a 60 up to a 73. Which just. That's heavy brakes. Good though. Oh shit, Harvick. That was a really good lap. I think Harvick got up in the wall there. Mm. I'm actually letting off the gas a little bit earlier than normal. And it's working better for me. Outside, real tight. That guy's back here bumping. Clear, clear. Bastard. Alright. So yeah, instead of letting off right whenever I get to that, uh, the one points, I am letting off right at the end of the White's Bristol marker on the wall, right there. And it's actually working a little bit better. It's a little slower, I can tell you that much, but I don't feel like I'm losing it so much. See, that's where I was, and that's giving me a little bit more speed in. Because I think that's where they're doing it. So let me, um... Stay low, stay low. Hold your line. Let me they're do quick. that to catch up. See, look, I'm catching up like crazy now. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is insane. This is insane how fast I'm going. Get to the bottom, get to the bottom. Still a car out there. Come on now. And if it feels like I'm getting too crazy, I can I can let off earlier and it works. My God, this is amazing. I am like a a NASCAR god. This is ridiculous. No, I'm not a NASCAR god, but this is still ridiculous. I cannot believe how fast I'm catching up. And I'm not breaking at Bristol. I am not breaking at Bristol. This is nuts. Alright, come on now. I see some petty blue up there. Who's the sponsor? Was that GameStop? Are you shitting me? <laughs> Couldn't tell if that was GameStop or not. That could have been anything for all I know, but it looked like GameStop. What a burger. <laughs> what a pass. Oh, shit. Alright, now. God, look at my car. 
<laughs> now, once I can catch up to the leader, what is he, two seconds up there? Which means he's up in that one pack of the three, maybe? If I can catch him... Oh, shit. Is he in the blue? He's got to be in the blue. He's got to be the one in the blue. I can't tell. Oh, no! That did not just happen. Damn it. Okay, so the apron at Bristol is tape. I know that was bad, me pushing him out of the way. <laughs> but yeah, the... Uh, no, God damn it, did it again! What the hell are you people doing? I think my tires are starting to wear out. Something's going on, man, because I am not... I don't have... I don't have the speed that I used to have, and it doesn't feel like the car's handling the way that it used to. Alright, Suarez, what are you doing? Damn it, I was in second place, too. Son of a bitch. Well, fifth place is not the worst. Damn it. All right. <sighs> Hands all sweaty now. That was crazy. Yes, the uh, the apron at Bristol is like fucking sticky tape. Don't ever do that. Damn it, man. I wonder if I could have got a win out of that. That sucked. All in all, though, that was still good. That was um, <laughs> fastest lap. I bet you I got the on the move thing, too. Well, of course I didn't get the most laps led. Daniel Hemrick? Never heard of him. No, Casey Kane, 23rd to 7th. Good on you, buddy. Whew. Wow. That, that'll that get you blood pumping. Shit. Nice job with that top 22 finish today. We'll keep you in mind for a ride next season. That was a three-star car. I can do that in a three-star car. Yep. That happened. Wow. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Ah, uh, well, the next race is going to be at Kansas. Kansas. And, uh, I wanted to see what was the, uh, what was the rest of the schedule? What do we got coming up? Kansas and then Charlotte. We may have another hot seat in there somewhere. And... Yeah. All right. Driving for linemen. Interesting, interesting, ridiculous side note. There is a um, a job right now for an apprentice lineman, which is actually the guys that will go up to the, you know, on the power powered lines and fix them. It's like $26 an hour. It's ridiculous. Now, you already have to have some kind of uh, experience and a little bit of a degree going into it to start, but, you know, you go in as an apprentice. $26 an hour. It's amazing. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for coming around and checking us out. This has been NASCAR Heat 2. I've been Nicodemus Kane. Thank you guys for watching me do stupid crap in a NASCAR. <laughs> uh, like, comment, and subscribe, or don't. I wouldn't blame you if you didn't. Um, and until next time, I wish you all well in all your future endeavors, and I hope that the world lasts for you. God bless. Take care. Watch out for those turns, and keep your eyes on the road and your hands upon the wheel.